Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. If you missed it a little bit earlier today, I uploaded my review of the Kringle Country Candle Cosmic Cupcakes fragrance. Um, if you missed that video and you are interested in my thoughts, I will go ahead and link it in the description box right below this video here. I will also put a link to where you can purchase Kringle candles as well as a discount code if you are interested in saving 15% off your order. Um, I will put that information right below again in the description box. Now, this is a review of a candle that is currently sold out. So the Kringle Reserve Jelly Donut was one of the first fragrances that sold out in the latest drop. And I'm not surprised that it did. This scent is... I love it. Like I just spoiler right now, I freaking love this candle. I did order a couple of backups of it because I was seeing the numbers dwindling on the website. <laughs> I was like, oh, before this sells out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up a backup. And so I, I did grab a couple of extras. Now, they do plan on re-releasing the um, sold out fragrances in the future. So if you did not have a chance to pick this one up, please know that you will have another chance. The only thing is that right now Kringle is waiting for the company to finish painting the vessels. So um, these containers you see here are just, they're clear ones that, you know, they normally have. But they um, they partner with a uh, like a painting company, some kind of specialty glass painting company, to um, create the black jars for them. That company is running a little bit behind, but they are in the process of creating more inventory for Kringle to be able to have a another round of these coming. So right now, I just looked on the website. It looks like the um, the ones that have sold out have now been pulled from the website. For a while, they left them up there with the sold out sign on them and you could sign up for emails, but I'm, I'm not sure why they removed them. But I do remember Mick saying during the most recent live with, um, with Brett over at Philly Candleman that there would be more coming. So I'm gonna hold him to that. <laughs> we better see some more jelly donut because this scent, you guys, is so delicious. I think this is one of my favorite gourmands that Kringle has ever done. And like the Cosmic Cupcakes, this one is a powerhouse in terms of strength and throw. This guy is, he's strong. And I love it. <laughs> so... Um, I do have the fragrance notes pulled up here. I was able to find the original um, descriptions from the um, Kringle Facebook page. And of course now, there it is. Okay. <laughs> We're going to read through their little blurb. We're going to talk about the fragrance notes. And then, um, you know, obviously I'll tell you guys what my experience has been with the ones that I purchased here. Okay. So the pampering essence of gently fried pastry dough filled with sweet raspberry jam, juicy blackberry, creamy vanilla, and a hint of sugared citrus. The top notes are pastry and fruit, just kind of generic fruit. The mid notes are raspberry, blackberry, and citrus. And the base is butter and vanilla. All right, so what does this smell like? Does it smell like the picture? Kind of, kind of. <laughs> now, the one thing that I don't really, I guess, or that my nose does not pick up that is um, in this description is that like fried donut note. I don't really smell like that fried donut note. Um, I'm thinking back to the uh, donut scent, what is it called? The um, Bath and Body Works. Was it Hot Cider Donut? What was it? That one very distinctly has that fried dough note. I don't smell fried dough here, but I do smell just a generic, almost like cakey pastry type note. 
but it definitely could translate to um, donut for sure. I feel like more of like a cake donut, I guess, versus like that typical like fried donut type smell. And I do get the um, the raspberry blackberry like filling and that powdered sugar. Like it basically smells exactly like the picture minus that fried component part. I'm not mad at that. I mean, I would love it. I, I do love when things are fried. <laughs> but um, I just think this on its own, even, the way that it is, is absolute perfection to my nose. Is this a really exotic scent? No. <laughs> is it unlike anything that I've ever smelled in the past? Not necessarily. I mean, I've had quite a number of like donut type fragrances. Um, Kringle even had their, um, I believe it was called Donut Worry, although that one was quite light for me. This is like polar opposite. And I think what actually makes this one a lot more powerful in my eyes is that the fruit notes that are in here, that raspberry and that blackberry, those are really very quite very quiet. Whoa, grammar. They are quite strong in their presentation. Like that you really smell the fruitiness. Then you kind of smell that more like cakey donut type note. And then you get like that powdered sugar, maybe with just a slight hint of citrus. But the citrus isn't like something that is like, you know, something that's super obvious. It's it is more of like that sugared citrus type note so it's more sweetness than anything else but you guys this one is absolutely delicious I am so glad that I thought to buy a couple more I would be so bummed if I only had one <laughs> I have my fingers crossed that Kringle has the ability to produce these like it, and mass the next go around like I would love like 10 of these that is how much I love this scent and you guys the strength and the throw oh it's so good this is like a, another solid like eight and that is somewhat difficult in this house here because we do have again high ceilings it's more of that open concept rooms kind of flow into each other but this one here, this and the Cosmic Cupcakes, when I have these two lit, like if I'm burning anything else with either of those two scents, like this takes over, like the Jelly Donut takes over, the Cosmic Cupcakes take, takes over. Um, these are great candles to light when you're just looking for like one candle, like you don't wanna mess with a bunch of them um, to get that house filling experience just like this <laughs> i wish i had this in wax melts i wish i had this in a larger like four wick format i i am just totally a sucker for this fragrance and the strength and the throw are solid for me um i am not quite to the halfway point i will give you guys an overhead shot um i did not do that with the last review but i felt like that was clear glass these are quite opaque and I will show you. Um, it's actually quite hard to see the flame through this, um, this glass because it's very opaque. So do make sure that you go around and check your candles if you're burning these in the evening. It's very easy to leave these lit. Um, actually one of my subscribers was it Joan I think it was Joan um she mentioned that she sets uh like a timer or an alarm on her Alexa at 10 o'clock every night to like go and make the rounds and check for candles and I'm like oh that's actually genius I should do that but anyway I just wanted you guys to see how opaque that was so um do make sure you check your candles but let's go ahead and take an overhead peek here so you can see that she is performing perfectly. Um, yeah, nice wax pool that forms every single burn. The wicks are doing beautifully. There's no issues with discoloration or sooting. Whoa, where are we at here? There we go. Um, just a really, really great experience with this candle, you guys. Um, I love it and I want more. And um, when they are re-released, 
I would suggest getting to the website fast before I do because I'm going to be buying some more of these and um, yeah, you're, you're going to be out of luck if I get there before you. So <laughs> come on, Kringle, let's see some more of these. I just, I absolutely love this one, obviously. So this one is getting two big fat thumbs up for me. Um, definitely, definitely worth checking out. Now I do have um, some more of the reserve candles that I've been burning and you will see reviews of that coming up hopefully within this next week or two. I hope that by the end of March, I am done reviewing all of these new spring scents from Kringle, um, from the, the Tumblr line, the country candle line, as well as these reserve candles. So off I go to do more burning. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope this review was helpful. Give it a big th uh, fat thumbs up if it was. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.